What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be rendering multiple cars. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? You can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested, the link will be in the description down below. Alright, we did first create a static parent and child component, then we moved on by rendering our child component dynamically, but that was just one child component as you could see on the screen right now. What if we want to render multiple cars? It's actually pretty simple. We currently have a car object right here, which is a constant called car. We need to wrap our object inside an array. So what we can do is to copy our entire object. So let's do that. And right after the equal sign, let's add brackets. And let's close it off with a semicolon. Let's hit enter inside our array. And what we can do next is to paste it right here. And we obviously don't need the semicolon right here, but instead we need to add a comma. So we can actually duplicate our object, our first object, and change up the values. Let's set the ID to two, the name equal to Audi. The description can be the same, but let's change the description of the Mercedes to the best or nothing. Now, before we save it and test it in the output, let's think about it for a second. This can be pretty clustered if you have multiple cars, and I'm actually trying to get there, which will make our parent component unreadable. Imagine if we have a list of 100 cars. You need to scroll down through all your objects before you can even do something in the return statement. So let's clear it up a little bit. What I recommend you to do is to create a new file inside the components file called cars.js. Let's hit enter. And what we will do right here is storing our array. So let's go back to our car list. Let's copy our entire constant called car. Remove it. Right now we're getting an error inside our car component, but don't worry. And let me actually close off some files that I have open right here. And I don't need the index. All right, let's go back to our cars.js, paste it right here. Now we're not working with one car anymore, so let's change the name to cars. And right below our constant, we need to make sure that we export it so we can use it in a different file. So let's say export default cars. Save it. Let's navigate back to our car list. And what we need to do right here is to make sure that we import it. Now we can replace car with cars, which will find the import if we hit enter. So it has imported cars from outside of this file and a file called cars. And then we save it right now you will see that we get no output inside the URL. So what is going on right here? Now let's inspect the page. Let's see what's happening inside our console log. Let's go to the console. We have an object. Well, we actually have an object inside an object. So we have two objects. So it has been passed in correctly, but we're still doing something wrong. This kind of makes sense, right? Since we're not telling our child component that we got multiple values that need to be looped over. So let's close off our console again, make our code editor a little bit bigger. And we're not going to loop inside our child component, but we're going to pass the loop through inside the parent component. So inside our car list. Now let's remove our entire car component right here and let's start over. Let's start off by adding curly braces and write down the array that we got, which is cars. Then we're going to map it, so dot map which is a function, so we need to add parentheses. Now the map function is a pretty cool JavaScript function that will call a function for each item inside the array. And this is actually a method that you will use quite a lot. So what we can do is to go inside the parentheses and pass in a function. This function accepts one required parameter and one which is optional. The required one will be the name of one single car. In our case, it will be car, so not multiple. Now. A function also has curly braces, so let's say space curly braces and hit enter. Inside the function, we need to tell what needs to happen every time it loops over the car's array. What we want to do is to return one single car. So we can simply say, well, return something, and that something is our car object. And inside the car object, we're going to pass in curly braces, dot, 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 so a spread operator of one single car. Now let's save it. Now the page has been refreshed automatically. And as you can see, we have rendered multiple objects. 
Now the image of the Audi is not correct. So let's open a new tab and go to pixapay.com and let's search for Audi. All right. Well, you can choose which one you like. I'll just choose this one. Copy image address and let's close it off. Let's go to our cars.js and let's replace the image URL. Save it. And you can see that both of them have been printed out. Now, if we make it bigger, we have added a grid. So you can see that we have added them next to each other and on a small device, they're right below each other. All right then. This was it for this video where I showed you how you could render multiple items from your component. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.